next guest is a very funny stand-up comic and an author whose latest book is Way to Go Smith. He's appearing at the Improv in Hollywood this weekend. Please welcome Mr. Bob Smith. <laughs> Thank you. My name is, thank you. My name is Bob Smith, and I'm originally from Buffalo, New York. Thanks. And I have, to, I have to tell you, I come from a very conservative family, and it wasn't easy telling my parents that I'm gay. In fact, I made my carefully worded announcement at Thanksgiving. I said, Mom, would you please pass the gravy to a homosexual? She passed it to my father. A terrible scene followed. Then my mother says to me, Bob, you're gay. Are you seeing a psychiatrist? I said, no, I'm seeing a lieutenant in the Navy. <laughs> now we talk about everything in my family. I can't stand it. I was home recently. My brother Greg's there. He had read some article about gay marriages, and he goes to me, well, Bob, you're gay. What do you think? And my mother goes, Greg, that's not nice. Don't remind him. <laughs> oh, yeah, like that had entirely slipped my mind. <laughs> That is how I get all my material. I just call home and talk to my family. <laughs> it's true. Thank you. The first time I ever was on TV, I called home. I go, Mom, next month I'm going to be on TV. She goes, that's great, Bob. I go, but Mom, this means now that everyone's going to know I'm gay. Are you and Dad okay about that? No lie. She goes, well, your father and I talked about it, but we thought there's a lot of people named Bob Smith. Who's going to know? <laughs> She's mental. And I had kind of a rough year. I was in a relationship that ended after 10 years. And you know what I've decided one of the best things about being in a relationship is? It's that it gets to bring someone home to meet your family, and they notice things about your family that you never noticed because you always thought your family was perfectly normal. <laughs> Let me give you an example. The very first time I brought Tom home to meet my parents, one day later he goes, Bob, have you ever noticed that your mother has this habit of making a statement questioning it, and then finally disagreeing with herself. I said, what the hell are you talking about? So we were driving through this older section of Buffalo, and my mother goes, the houses around here are nice. The people take good care of them. Well, not everyone does. I guess it's not that nice. I don't like this area. Now, thank you. Now, you guys know I'm gay, duh. But the most important thing you should know about me, because this formed my entire personality, is that my birthday's on December 24th. Do we have any December birthdays in here? We must have a few, right? Yeah. Because we people with December birthdays now know from years of experience what the three wise men said when they delivered their gifts. These are for both your birthday and Christmas. <laughs> the cheap bastards. I'm sorry. That is like the worst time of year to have a birthday. No lie, when I was a kid, my mother once gave me a pack of batteries and goes, well, you'll need them tomorrow. <laughs> I did like three years of therapy on that. You guys are great. Thank you. But you know, you guys are great. I think homophobia is based on ignorance. This became so clear to me with the whole gays in the military thing. Because I remember watching the news and hearing an Air Force pilot who said that he would rather quit the military than work with someone gay. My first thought was, what's an Air Force pilot going to do then? Get a job with an airline? Because we all know there's no one gay in the travel industry. <laughs> Hello? We're everywhere. We're even in the mafia. And don't mess with the gay mafia. Go break the legs on your coffee table. You could end up in the river wearing a pair of cement pumps. It can get ugly. I was in South Carolina. This is like the stupidest thing. In South Carolina, a state representative tried to pass a law banning gay men and lesbians from adopting children because he thinks gay households are the breeding grounds for future homosexuals. Okay, I'm only gonna explain this once. Heterosexuals are the breeding grounds for future homosexuals. Like, that idea is hard to follow. And people get so upset about gay parents. You know, there might be some advantages. You know if you had two gay fathers, you'd always have the best Halloween costume on the block. I actually was in Ann Arbor, Michigan. This was great. In Ann Arbor, Michigan, they, someone brought me the local newspaper. The local newspaper prints gay and lesbian wedding announcements. 
I think this is great. I can't wait until newspapers all over America start doing this. Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Douglas have reluctantly announced the engagement <laughs> of their son Timothy to Mark Feldman, the son of the stunt Dr. And Mrs. Saul Feldman. A May commitment ceremony is planned with an awkward reception to immediately follow. <laughs> At the parents' request, there will be an open bar during the ceremony. Thank you guys very much.